We're back. We're back. We have our masks, uh, but there's no people around us. So if we see people, we'll put it on, but we don't. But anyways, uh, we have questions from, from fans of the show. Can and you believe it's been a week since we did this last? No, it feels like we did it yesterday. <laughs> Especially, yeah. <laughs> Didn't we do it? Yeah. <laughs> I think I might have done it. Uh, okay. We have a lot about you. Drew Barrymore. Um, Aww. Farty. How did you meet Drew Barrymore? I met Drew Barrymore in Seattle, Washington at an amazing little bar called 13 Coins that is still there. And she was 19. Um... I was working for Clarence Clemens at the time, um, the big man. Big man! In San Francisco, and she was working on a movie uh, that my brother was working on. He was PAing for the, or no, he was a producer's assistant. And um, we met and really got along, but then, uh, you know, thought nothing of it. I mean, all good, great, great. Went home, and three weeks later, my roommate, Kevin Mursky, hi Kev, uh, said, hey, someone's making prank calls on our answering machine. Yes, we had an answering machine. And, uh, <laughs> of course. and uh, they're pretending that they're Drew Barrymore, and they're daring you to move to Los Angeles and start a production company. And I go, oh, I actually did meet Drew Barrymore. <laughs> and uh, I packed it. up and went down LA. And there you go. And there you have it. Uh, what do you do when you need inspiration? I need to kind of be alone. I need to have my alone time. <laughs> you drive. <laughs> I love to drive. drive. You drive. I love to do any kind of crafty, anything with my fingers and hands. And um, yeah, I, need, uh, I have to think, think it through, and then I can go back into the world and give it up. I I think I watched something I would never ever watch or read a magazine I never would read. I love magazines. Yeah, you do. Like I would read like outside magazine or outdoor because I'm not outdoorsy or I just like want to see. <laughs> I'll never ever see a crevasse. <laughs> as long as I live, I won't even ever ever tell you a story about me in a crevasse. Oh, remember so, when we went to Wyoming that summer to the dude ranch? <laughs> I became a man. Yes, Wyoming is when I borrowed that dude's bow tie. Remember that? <laughs> it was a giant antler of some sort. No, it was right? a saber tooth or something. <gasps> was it? But I had your dad's Texas shirt and I had a yes. bolo tie. And I was wearing that and a cowboy hat. I just wanted yeah, to go full boots, cowboy. Boots belt. and all. And then I kept seeing this guy at the mess hall who had crazy bolo ties over. Yes, he was amazing. Insane. And I was like, dude. Yeah. Nice bolo. He's like, thanks. I go, can I borrow that saber tooth one like tomorrow night? He's like, you want to borrow my, my tie? <laughs> I was like, yes. Because I have a shirt that's going to rock with that. Yep. And he was like, sure, I don't care. I got, he's probably the first <laughs> person to ever ask me to borrow his clothes. Uh, so on vacation, who asked? Stranger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you think, Jimmy? <laughs> yeah, I think I was the first stranger to ask the, another stranger to borrow his clothes on vacation. <laughs> Uh, anyways, we traded ties and just for the day, and I wore it with a Texas. Oh man, that was awesome! If I could find that picture, do you have it? Oh yeah. You do. Somewhere. Well, yeah, but where? I don't know now? where. You know. <laughs> I know. Where's anything? Yes, I do. Uh, but anyways, yeah, that was fun. Uh, but I like doing that to get inspiration. Anything that that's out of the ordinary, something I would normally wouldn't do. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I just trap myself in a room with a keyboard and silence. Yep. It's just. Yeah. I just get so, I just got to do something. So yeah. I type my way out of it. And then I get a phone call like two hours later. Honey, what do you think of this? Listen to this. <laughs> listen to this. Hey, listen, I just thought of this. Listen to this awful song. <laughs> they're, your, they're always great. Is that your impression of me? Do you yeah. have an impression of me? Mm. <sighs> no. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. I mean, maybe, don't but I'll it. save it. <laughs> um, what's the hardest we both have ever laughed? Oh, so many times. God, I get, we just get the giggles sometimes that are. Now, do you remember? Just the best. Was I it the wedding the in. Oh, no. France? Wait, the one where it was like two and a half hours long? No. Oh, that, 
on the floor. That was rough, yeah, man. Oh my They're God. not together anymore, so we're so not even jinxing anything. Hungry. Oh, and people just kept whispering appetizers to each other in yeah, the church. Yeah. They were like, just through the. Through the space in a blanket. <laughs> no, I was talking about the wedding where I woke up in the morning and <laughs> I go, uh, <laughs> I woke you up and I go, honey, honey, honey. And you're like, yeah, good morning. Or I go, honey, one of us wet the bed. One of us wet the bed. And I just laid there. I go, <laughs> really? <laughs> one of us? First of all, <laughs> But, move because <laughs> a yeah I know but b <laughs> <laughs> b she was like we went swimming last night you idiot we went swimming before <laughs> <laughs> that's enough for today right that was funny that's, I think that's good we'll see you next week <laughs> <laughs> or maybe not maybe we'll take a week we don't know we'll take a week off well, we have maybe, no idea. Yeah, maybe we love you guys you thanks for else. asking those questions and yeah we love you guys thank you on and on and on, uh, I said, and it's on and on and on.